Hi, my name is Trevor Smith. I'm a uh, aeronautical tech student at Arizona State. Um, I'm also a pilot working on my instrument rating. I had a question about spatial disorientation, and there's a lot of talk uh, in my pilot training about trusting your instruments. And I was wondering how you counteract that being in space, um, and any stories you might have about being spatially disoriented and how you get over that. Thanks. Hope you answer my question. Uh, your question about spatial orientation is actually a very valid question. On Earth, it, typically you're disoriented in, in, a, in, in, a, in a planar sense, but here in space, it's very three-dimensional. Uh, orbital mechanics is quite a bit different than uh, the way we fly on Earth. Um, and just as you do on, on, on Earth, uh, we do trust our instruments to get us into orbit. Once you're in orbit, you're kind of on your own to adapt. Uh, certainly here in the space station, there is no uh, up or down, left or right. Uh, the space station is, is basically configured like a ship. We have a forward, we have an aft, we have a port, we have a starboard, and that's what we refer to everything within the space station. And we put labels up on the space station allow us to get to anywhere we want to get to basically just by following the directions but you got to remember it's very easy for us to be able to work on the ceilings as it is on the deck on, on working on the port side as well as on the starboard side so it really doesn't matter where you're at uh, it's very easy to get disoriented so that's why you really got to kind of pay attention to, to what you're doing